Hi, this is a quick video to demonstrate how easy it is to decorate a t-shirt or any other garment with a design like the one you can see using the Silhouette Studio software, the Silhouette Cameo Vinyl Cutter and some garment vinyl. I've got Silhouette Studio open and I'm going to cut across the full width of the machine. So I'll set the page to Cameo Automatic which gives me a 12 inch cut width. It is possible to cut a design up to 3 meters long with the Silhouette Cameo by cutting along the feed axis of the cutter rather than across the width. But for now I'm just going to stick to cutting across the width. I'm going to combine our company logo and some text to make the design. So having set up the page the next thing to do is open the logo. So I click on the open icon and it opens my pictures. It might not always open my pictures, you might need to browse to the location of your particular image. Um, and as always we need to change file types to all files so we can actually see what files we've got in there. And I'm going to use this logo. Let's just highlight it, click OK to open it. Move it into the middle of the uh, page and Let's zoom in so we can get a better look at it. So if I click on it, I can see that it's 78.32 millimeters square. I'm going to specify an exact size by clicking on the open scale window icon. And I'm not going to change the size much. I'm just going to make it exactly 3 inches square, which is 76.2 millimeters and the aspect ratio is locked so it will change the width and the height, click apply and that's it. Didn't change size much but now I know it's exactly the right size. Next thing is to trace it so I click on the open trace window icon, click on select trace area and simply drag over the logo. I always set the scale to 4 to capture the most detail. And using the high pass filter, I simply increase the value until everything is selected. And that looks like it's done it. Yep, 55 ish. And then click on trace. Click on the logo, and I can actually delete the image because all I want is the outline. Let's go back to a full screen view. And move it up to the top left. I want to cut out of the top of the vinyl to minimize waste. Now I need to create the text. So I click on this icon to open the text style window. And I'm going to scroll through the list of fonts to find the one that I want, which is the avant-garde font there. You can use any font you've got installed on your system. I'm going to change the size down to 36 as a starting point. Now I click on the text tool. I'm going to click anywhere on the page. It really doesn't matter because I can move it and align it at a later stage. And it's just a case of typing in whatever it is you want to appear in the design. And in this case, it's www.transferpress.co.uk. Click on it and drag it up into position. Well, it can certainly be bigger than that, so double click. Drag over it to select it all. And Let's increase the size. Let's go to 48. It can probably be a little bit bigger than that. So if I highlight the size there and type in 50, press enter. Yep, that's about as big as I can go if I'm cutting across the width of the machine. Click on it and position it left to right. I want it to be pr precisely aligned with the center of the logo. So with my selection tool 
I simply drag over both objects, go up to the top, click on the Open Align window icon, and in the Align Vertically section, click Align Middle. And uh, it's brought them exactly into line. While I've got both objects selected, I'm going to go to the very bottom left of the Silhouette Studio window and click on that icon to group them together. So they effectively now become one object. And because we cut garment vinyl from the back, I need to flip the design, mirror the design, which is easily done by going to Object, Mirror, and flip horizontally. And that's the design complete. It's ready to cut, so it's that quick. What happens if I want more than one of the, that design? If I've got an order for four or five shirts with this design, on. click on it, Object, Replicate, uh, duplicate below. That's what I'm looking for. So nudge it down a bit. I'm using the keyboard shortcut. I don't know if you noticed it there, which is Control and the down arrow. And nudge it down again. Control, down arrow. Nudge it down. Control, down arrow. Is there room for one more? Yep, there is. So repeating the design is that easy. Uh, I don't want to cut that many in this instance, so I'll just click on each one, hit the delete key, delete, delete, delete. And of course I can save this Silhouette Studio file, um, so if I get repeat orders, for instance, I can simply come back to it and cut the exactly the same design again without having to go through the process of making a design. The next step is to click on the Cut Settings icon, choose the appropriate media, which of course is vinyl, and let's just check the cut settings. It's telling me that the blade needs to be set to 2, and it is actually worth checking on the machine that that is what the blade is set to. Speed and the thickness are set automatically for me, so assuming the vinyl is loaded onto the machine, what we need to do now just click on Send Silhouette. And you can possibly hear the cameo begin to cut. This is the cut vinyl, which I've trimmed out of the larger piece that was in the machine. All that remains is to weed out the excess vinyl. So if I just with this weeding tool, start that process. And where that's lifted, it's not a problem. Just go in and weed out the bits there. And then take out the centers. And that's what the final transfer will look like.